What's up, insiders? I'm your man, Deuces Jack. Today, we're going to be going over the Movekin Y2 Pod. Got a little bit of Mayan action going on with it. It's got a nice form factor. Check that out, man. Just fits in the hand nicely. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Look at that thing, huh? That's kind of different looking. I'm guessing that's why they call it the Y. Right? Looks like a Y-Pod. Nice rainbow, a little bit of a Mayan type of graphic. So here's the way the pod comes. All right, very, very dark. Has this rubber type of protection while it's in the box. You can see really, really dark. Just stupid dark. I don't like that. Really, really bad job. This sticker says do not move. And I don't know why, but it almost makes me want to remove it. It really does. You know? I don't know. They should have went with something else. Telling people not to remove it makes them want to take it out. So here's your fill port right here. Okay, kind of got to have a little bit of girly nails. Get them in there. Needle nose bottles only apply. Nothing else is going to fit. All right, barely enough room to displace air. There's your draw piece right there. Very, very tight drawer on this pod. Extremely tight. Now, I'm not going to fill this one up because I'm actually going to use it in a giveaway. So I'm just going to put this back in the box. Now here's the one I've been using. This one has that Mayan graphic, okay? There's an LED light right there that tells you what your battery life is doing. Very comfortable shape, man. Really feels great in the hand. I got to give them credit for that. Really nice job on that. All right, you can see the graphic is actually pretty nice. A little bit of Y2 branding over there. On the bottom, there's your micro USB port for charging. And, you know, the pod just pops in there just like that. It's been relatively dry, actually bone dry. I've had no issues with it, okay? You can put the pod in both ways. It doesn't matter. Either way will do. The one thing I hate about it is it doesn't stand up. See? See that rounded out bottom there? I don't know why they didn't flatten it so you could stand it up. You can't stand it up. It just falls down no matter what you do. So that's annoying, man. I don't like that at all. I don't like laying stuff down. I'd rather it stand up. I'm kind of funny like that. Now inside here, you can see we got two magnets in the corners and two very small gold-plated pins. The thing is, when you insert the pod, the pins make contact. The light goes on. And this is an auto draw pod system. So here's the one I've been using. This is the one we're going to give away. And we're also going to give away this nice looking gunmetal one. Okay, so make sure you watch the whole review to get into the giveaway and enter the giveaway properly. Just for a quick size comparison, here's the Y2 next to the Smoke Novo 2 and the Lost Vape Lyra. It's definitely you know, bigger and a little bulkier than the Novo 2, that's for sure. However, it is more comfortable to hold than the Novo 2. As far as overall size goes, it's probably more in line with the Lost Vape Lyra, but again, much more comfortable to hold. The Lyra is actually built better, though. Also included in the kit, you get a Y2 Pod user manual, you get a micro USB cable as well as a lanyard and you get two pods let me give you one last look at it all put together really nice looking pod system all right insiders let's get into those cons and pros first con is going to be that fill port is way too small i don't like it con no resistance or coil markings on the pod that's a con it doesn't stand up i can't stand this up on a table i gotta lay it flat down I hate that. It's a pet peeve of mine. Why didn't they just flatten out that bottom so I could stand it up? So far, as far as I know, only one mm. pod is available. That's a con. The maximum wattage on this is 12.5 mm. watts. It's a little bit on the light side, especially with the newer stuff coming out. These variable wattage pod AIO kits that are going up to 30, 40 watts. You know, come on, guys. You got to get with the program. And no adjustable airflow, mm -hmm. that's a con for me as well. Let's move on to the pros, though, because we got some pros to go over. First pro is going to be, man, that finish on it, you saw it down low, man. It's beautiful. The gunmetal's nice. The rainbow's nice. This, I don't know what you call it, this gray gunmetal Mayan one that I'm rocking is nice. It's a beautiful-looking 
kit. They did a nice job on the finish. Keeping with that same theme, the build quality on this is actually really nice. It's comfortable, man. Comfortable to hold in the hand. No doubt about that. Pro, it's got a tight mouth to lung draw, man. I'm talking like almost like, like a little tighter than a caliber type of draw. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Very, very tight, man. You know, almost a little too tight for me. It's got good flavor. It's a little bit on the cool side. Decent cloud production for what it is. But you die-hard mouth to lungers, you're going to love the drawer on this. You really are. It's got a smooth drawer. The drawer is very smooth as well. It's got good flavor, but it's just missing that heat that I like. But the flavor is actually pretty good. It's got a nice capacity, very good battery life. It's pocketable. It's an easy carry in the hand. That's all a pro. And it does fire pretty fast, man. I got to say, as soon as I start drawing on this thing, it's drawer activated. This thing fires fast, fires right away. That's a pro. So that's it, insiders. Those are my cons and pros. Let's chat about this one a little bit. I like it. I don't want you to walk away from this review thinking that I don't like it. I like the build quality. I like the drawer. I like the smoothness of the drawer. I like the tightness of the drawer. It's a little on the tight side for me personally, but I know the die-hard mouth to lungers are going to like it. What I am missing in this pod system is the heat. I wish it just generated a little bit more heat. It has a Caliburn type of drawer, but I feel like it's underpowered. I feel if it had another 8 watts or so, it would have been a home run. Bottom line is, if you like a cool, tight vape, definitely check this one out. We'll have a link down below. Let's go over some of the specs on the Movekin Y2 pod system. It measures in at 95 by 40 by 15 millimeters. It weighs in at 70 grams. 2 ml capacity, 12.5 watt maximum with a 650 milliamp hour battery. It has one amp charging on board, an LED indicator, light for your battery life. When it's blue, it's at 30 to 100 percent. When it's green, it's at 10 to 30 percent. And when you're below 10, the light is red. You get two pods in the kit. They're the same pod, a 1.4 ohm pod with a stainless steel coil and cotton wicking. Don't forget, insiders, we got to fight for our right to vape. They're coming after us. They're trying to kill our industry. Take 10 minutes out of your day. Call your local state legislator. Call your governor. Call the White House. I don't care if you live in a state that you think is safe. Let your politicians know. You vape, you vote, and you will not support any politician that supports a vaping ban. Thanks for watching the video, Insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. That's all I got for you guys today. It's more important now than ever inside is that you keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.